Hi, Ed here from Metric Mogul, giving you analytics and Google Tag Manager tips. So I got an email from a guy who wanted to know how can you pick up UTM campaign parameters from your URL and use them later on in the session in marketing pixels? Because obviously the UTM parameters are only available on the initial landing page. Once you go further down the funnel and you get to say the sales confirmation page, you don't have access to that information. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up GTM to capture those values, save them, and then be able to use them in Marketing Pixels in the future. Enjoy. Here's an example campaign URL with the UTM source, medium, and campaign parameters we all know and love. And the challenge in this tutorial is how do we get that UTM campaign parameter into a marketing pixel which may not be on the landing page. So this may be sometime later in the session when the UTM campaign parameter is no longer available in the URL. How can we inject it into our sales pixel? And the second part of this tutorial is about picking up the transaction ID which sometimes is needed in a sales confirmation pixel too. So the rough process is this. We're gonna save the UTM campaign parameter in a cookie if ever it exists in the URL. We're gonna load that value from the cookie into a GTM variable on every page view, so it's available to access. And then finally, if this is a sales confirmation page, we're obviously gonna uh, fire the sales marketing tag, but we're also gonna inject the GTM variable which we, we loaded from the cookie into that tag as well. And uh, optionally, we're also gonna pick up the transaction ID into a variable and fire that in the marketing pixel too. So let's get started. This implementation requires no development from your developers. It can all be done in Google Tag Manager. Head into Google Tag Manager and to the variables tab, and we're gonna set up our variables that we need. So number one, we need to pick up the query parameter. So call it Q under UTM underscore UTM campaign, and set this to be of type URL, and it's gonna be a query, and type in UTM campaign. So what this does is whenever a UTM campaign parameter is present, it will pick it up and store it in this parameter, uh, in this variable. We also need a cookie, so do the same thing, but prefix it with C, so C underscore UTM campaign. And this is gonna come from a first party cookie and give the cookie a name UTM campaign. So what this does is whenever there's a cookie present with the name UTM campaign, it will load that value into the C underscore UTM campaign uh, GTM variable. And finally, what we need to do is we need some logic which is going to give us the value of the cookie. So if it's in the UTM, uh, if it's in the URL parameter, use that value uh, and then save it to a cookie. If it's not in the URL parameter, check the cookie and use that value if the, if the cookie exists. So we're gonna do all of that again in another variable, but this time it's gonna be a custom JavaScript variable. So give it the name session UTM campaign. And this is the variable we're gonna be using in our tags. You'll see in just a minute. Um, and this is gonna be a custom JavaScript. So I'm gonna paste in the JavaScript that I've got here. Um, you can copy it out, but I'll run through it very quickly. So first of all, what we do is we check the value of the Q UTM campaign variable we just created. So if that variable exists um, and it has a value, means it means that the UTM campaign parameter is in the URL. So we found it. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna set a cookie with called UTM campaign and we're gonna set it to the value of our variable and we're gonna return that value. Now, if, that's, if this condition is false, we end up in here, which means that the UTM campaign parameter was not in the URL. So someone has landed on the URL uh, page and then moved somewhere else. So in that case, we need to load the value from the cookie. Um, and that's why we set up our earlier value called C UTM campaign. So all we're doing is essentially loading that value from the cookie and we're returning that. Now, if the cookie is has present, has been set, then we get the value of UTM campaign parameter back. If it hasn't been set, or the session has expired, and this cookie does expire at the end of the session, if it expires, then, well, we just have to use um, 
uh, it returns undefined, so it's no value. Okay, so let's save that and um, preview it just to check it's all working. Wait for the preview window to, to appear and uh, refresh the website. So you can see in this example, I've set a UTM campaign parameter to hello. And in the debugging window, head over to the variables tab, um, select one of the messages. We want page view in this case. And now let's inspect the three variable values that we created. So first of all, um, let's have a look at Q UTM campaign parameter. So that value is set to hello because the UTM parameter is being pulled from here, the URL. Um, and that means also that our session UTM campaign, which is checking both the cookie and the, U, uh, the URL parameter, is set to the correct value. So now what happens when we go to another page? So let's say we navigate to a new page, and notice on this page we don't have the UTM parameter set, the UTM campaign parameter is not. So again, let's have a look at the, the variables in our GTM debugger to head over to the page view, head over to the variables tab. And now if we have a look at the Q underscore UTM campaign, you can see it's undefined because it's not there. But our logic says, well, now read it from the cookie. And you can see because it was stored on our previous page view, which means that our variable that we want to use in all our tags, the session UTM campaign, is set to hello. So this is the one we can use. And just to prove that it's working, if I inspect and I'll have a look at my cookies, we can see here that UTM campaign is correctly set to hello. If you remember, we also need to pick up the transaction ID to send to the sales confirmation pixel. So I'm on my demo sales confirmation page and you'll notice that in the data layer, I have transaction ID set. If you don't have transaction ID set in your data layer, then you need to either scrape it out of the page, which I have other tutorials on, um, or you need to get your developers to implement the data layer with this value in it. But for the moment, I'm going to assume that it's set in this variable transaction ID. So let's head back into um, Google Tag Manager and we're going to create a variable called transaction ID. And this is going to be pulled from the data layer. And I've given it the name of the variable in my data layer. All right, so we've now got everything we need. We've got the session UTM campaign parameter. And we've also got transaction ID. Next up, we need to create a tag to fire the sales pixel. So come into tags, hit new tag, and we're going to go to image pixel. Now your pixel, your sales confirmation pixel could be anything, but in the example I'm doing here, it just happens to be this image pixel because that's what I was asked about. Um, so let's first of all go right to the end and you'll notice this is the value, the part that we need to tra uh, we need to replace with our transaction ID. So all we do is we come in here and we select the transaction ID variable we just created. So there you go, you can see it is set just like that. And if we scroll a bit further forwards, you can see we need to do the same thing with the UTM campaign value. So again, let's insert the value we created. Now we don't want the cookie, we don't want the queue, we want this one which, which has all the logic in it. So let's add that in. And um, annoyingly, GTM adds it right to the end even though I put my cursor elsewhere. So let's cut that and paste it into the correct place. So it's just the, session, uh, the variable name with curly braces around it. Okay, so there's our pixel. Um, let's give this a name. I'm gonna call it demo um, sales pixel. I don't actually know what this is, but this, this is what I was asked about. Um, so there it is, there's our full tag. And the final thing we need to do is we need to trigger it when there's a sale. So we're on the sales confirmation page. And I know for a fact that my sales confirmation page has this URL. So I'm gonna use that. We could use a data, data layer value, but um, uh, for me, the URL is easiest. So the trigger is gonna happen on a page view, it's gonna happen on some page views, and we're gonna do it when the page path equals that. All right, so let's save that. We've now got our tag, we've got the trigger, we've got our variables injected, 
Um, let's preview this and fingers crossed, it should all work fine. Okay, so um, let's refresh the page. We've got our campaign set to hello. And um, we're gonna move about. So I'm gonna, first of all, um, I'm gonna click here, which is my demo sales confirmation page. Notice again, there's no UTM uh, campaign parameter here, but let's have a look at our demo sales pixel, which is fired. You can see here, we've got the pixel, we've got hello, which has been injected, and we've got the transaction ID. So this tells us that everything is working correctly and it's all ready. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found it easy. I am going to export this container um, and I'm going to I'm going to put a link to it in the video description. So if you need to download it, it will be there. Um, I'm going to charge a small fee like a pound or a dollar or something very, very small just to uh, just for hosting costs. Um, and, you know, you don't need the container. You can simply copy out the code that I showed you earlier in the tutorial. But if you want to make absolutely sure and you want it to, to be done instantly, you can grab this whole demo container for a very low cost. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do subscribe if you found it useful because I have lots more useful content coming up.